Each year, anglers look forward to the spring, summer Chinook salmon season. But unlike most fisheries, salmon seasons change yearly depending on how many salmon swim back to Idaho. Just how big the salmon run will be and how long the season will last are tough questions. In December, we accumulate all the information from last year's salmon returns. We take salmon counts at the dams, we take ages of those fish, hatchery returns, spawning ground survey returns, and we combine that stuff and what it does is it gives us a picture of what we can expect for this year's salmon returns. We use jack salmon or predominantly male salmon that have only spent one year in the ocean to give us an idea of the number of adults that are gonna return the following year. Most adults that return to Idaho come back after two or three years, and so the jacks are our first indication of how many of those fish that are gonna spend two years in the ocean are still out there. In January, Fish and Game Commissioners take the first look at the forecasted salmon runs and potential seasons. At this time, most of the salmon are still in the ocean getting ready to come into the lower Columbia River. So he's gonna kinda go over what we did last year. That gives you an opportunity to This is also the time when the Idaho Department of Fish and Game goes about collecting input from anglers on setting the upcoming salmon seasons and rules. Using public input, we can set rules that will change lengths of season, harvest opportunities, diversities of opportunities, as well as to spread harvest throughout different communities. Using angler input, we can adjust our rules to accomplish a lot of different things, such as the length of the season, how many fish can be harvested over a certain amount of days, the diversity of opportunities, as well as distributing harvest throughout different communities. By April, the Fish and Game Commission meets to review the run forecast. They will consider setting spring-summer Chinook seasons for the Clearwater, Snake, Lower Salmon, and Little Salmon Rivers. By now, spring-run Chinook salmon have already started coming over Bonneville Dam. Fish counters at the dams record how many salmon tagged with tiny electronic tags pass by. Information from these tags help managers monitor the run size and know how many salmon will be available for sport fishing harvest in each river section. We have now enough fish marked, mainly with these pit tags, so we know individuals we can, we can detect them remotely with antennas through all the dams. As those fish start coming back through the dam system, we get a better and better idea as to how many fish are coming back to which system. Based on the preseason forecasts, Idaho salmon seasons typically start to open in April. By the end of April, 38% of Rapid River hatchery salmon have already crossed Bonneville Dam. By the end of May, many have already crossed Lower Granite Dam, the last one before entering Idaho. That's why early in the season we might not know. I have a really good target as to how many we can harvest. We just know we can harvest some. We have a, a conservative idea. Usually that number increases as the fish return up through the hydro system. At the May Fish and Game Commission meeting, the seasons for the South Fork Salmon and Upper Salmon Rivers are typically set. By this time, enough of those salmon have crossed Bonneville Dam to accurately estimate the size of the run. In most years, seasons on the South Fork Salmon and Upper Salmon open in late June. In-season harvest management uh, and is really important because as we set these fisheries and these fisheries open, um, they can ramp up fairly rapidly and we can harvest a lot of fish in a short period of time. Simultaneously to when the fisheries are open, we're also tracking fish that are coming into Idaho over land, Lower Granite Dam. And so two things are happening at once. We're harvesting fish based on what we expect to return, but we're also tracking the return almost in real time. During the season, biologists constantly communicate with other states and tribes to monitor harvest, hatchery returns, and the run size to adjust the fishing season as needed. Coming up in part two, We'll look at how the salmon harvest is counted. How many hours would you say you fish total? And how decisions whether to close fishing are made.